Hey there, fellow therapists. My name is Dr. Cassidy Freitas. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I support therapists in building cash pay, profitable, and sustainable modern private practices. I wanted to share with you today some of the shifts and changes I'm making in my own business here in 2023 particularly when it relates to marketing that are actually very aligned with Christie's amazing tips and projections for 2023. First and foremost, I am making the decision to really step back from how much content I was creating and energy I was putting into Instagram. I grew a platform over there, built some really meaningful connections, got a ton of referrals from that social media platform, and I plan to stick around there, but I'm really scaling back. I'm only posting when I have a very creative idea for a reel and the time and space and inspiration to create a really high quality reel. And I'm only going on there to share when I have podcast episodes. So really trying to get people off the app onto some of these other platforms where I can dive deeper into particular topics for my ideal client. And I also show up on Fridays where I do a roundup of curated funny TikToks because I like to hold space for humor as well as the hard stuff. That's a big value of mine. So that's when I show up, when I have an inspired idea and the time and space to really put energy into um, producing a good reel, when I want to share a podcast episode and this ritual of TikTok Fridays. And otherwise, I'm really stepping back. So no more of these Canva posts that used to do really, really well. Um, and no more constant daily recording of stories. I had some virtual assistants that were really helping me with Instagram and I've now shifted gears because I really recognized for myself that while it was a really meaningful aligned marketing strategy for a period of time, I don't see it being sustainable. For me long term so i wanted to shift gears to make things more sustainable as i was projecting what i really wanted to spend my time doing and where i saw the marketing energy moving towards i hired christy um, i really wanted to work on the seo side of things for my website and what i'm working on particularly with christy is creating content for my website that would be very highly searchable um, on google for my particular my particular niche and ideal client we also worked on a freebie lead magnet that would bring people to my email list once they download and then she supported me in creating a email funnel that brings emails to their inbox over a period of time and then eventually brings people at once I've built this relationship and trust with them in their inbox to potentially reaching out for therapy. In addition to that, we also created a Google My Business page. Fortunately for me, even being a virtual practice, I was able to um, get verified on Google. So I was able to get that Google My Business listing uh, profile and I'm super excited about that. And I am actually going to start putting more energy into Pinterest. I had some amazing VAs that I was working with. They were therapists in training. They were really supporting me on the Instagram side of things. They were starting to take off in their careers and start to see clients. And so as they transitioned out of their role as my VA, I took some time to really get intentional about what my next move was going to be and who my next hire was going to be. And I chose to hire somebody who was really specializing on the Pinterest side of things. What she's supporting me in doing is taking my past content, podcast episodes, blog posts, Instagram content, newsletters, anything that I've put out there and translating it into really highly searchable pins. Now, in the past year, I also made some big shifts in my business where I expanded into a group practice. So I was really looking to find some robust ways to bring in referrals, not just for myself, but for the therapists that work for me as well. And I wanted it to be a sustainable model, one in which it wasn't requiring me to get on stories every day and create content that I was pushing out every day that you know was just to get something out there and to be engaged because the algorithm previously with Instagram and still was calling for that, but it just wasn't aligned anymore. So in addition to working with an SEO strategist as well as making a shift to really focusing on Pinterest, 
I'm going to continue my podcast because that has been a really beautiful way in which I have been able to make connections and bring folks back to my private practice. And what I'm going to hopefully do is turn some of those podcast episodes into the new ones and old ones into pins, into SEO, very intentional, strategic um, blog posts so that those podcast episodes can be searchable as well. All right. So in addition to um, the podcast, I am also getting super intentional about the directories that I'm listed on. So I used to be listed on Psychology Today and had that you know monthly expense. And I just found that the folks that were reaching out, like sometimes they were good fits, but not always. So similarly to how Christy's talking about the importance to just get super niched and really intentional in your marketing based on that niche and where your niche is showing up to find support, I am removing myself from psychology today and I am getting on directories like for me, Postpartum Support International, because I work primarily with postpartum, the postpartum population, and just putting a lot of intention into that directory as well. Let's also never underestimate the importance of community connections. And so I am taking time here at the beginning of this new year to write thank you notes to the folks who have sent referrals my way over the past year. When I have a client who is also working with say a psychiatrist or is also working with maybe a lactation consultant or a doula, I'm making the special effort to connect with those folks to collaborate in that person's care and also to build that connection and that relationship for the future, letting them know that our practice is accepting new clients. I think it's really important to track where your referrals are coming from. And I always intended to do this and I would sometimes have these conversations in the first session and check. And I think at one point I did have it on an intake form, but now what I have it on is on the initial contact form, just a little section, set it up on Squarespace where folks can share where they learned about the practice, when it's fresh on their mind, and I'm keeping track of that so that I can really gauge where these referrals are most often coming from and so that I can really, as I'm reinvesting in my business, have that in mind. So marketing is a bridge, right? There's the folks you're hoping to reach and then there's where you're trying to take them. And my hopes for my business of where I'm really wanting to bring people to this next year is the expansion of my group practice, planning to hire maybe two new therapists to join our team this year, continuing to see clients myself, as well as uh, recording my podcast episodes as I feel inspired for new episodes. I've got a little over 100 already, and what's beautiful about a podcast is it's this evergreen marketing tool. Those episodes are continuing to be listened to um, by folks. I'm also in the process of writing a book and continuing to offer my coaching and courses for therapists. And so I have my podcasting for therapist course, if you're ever interested in starting your own podcast, and my crafted practice course and established therapist toolkit, both of which I have been re-recording and updating. If you're already in those courses, because maybe some of you who are listening are, if you go check them out, you'll see some of the updated lessons already. If you're not and you're interested in learning more, be sure you cl- click the links below to learn more about those offerings. I'll also share a link below where you can connect with Christie's team over at Therapy SEO. It's been incredible to work with them and I am so excited <laughs> to be stepping back from the grind of social media and Instagram and really stepping into something that feels a lot more sustainable for me and investing in my business in this way that I think is really going to serve me and my team long-term. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that this was helpful. I would love to connect with you, see what you've got planned for the new year. So I'll, I'll drop my email in the link below as well. All right, talk to you soon.